Yeah, buddy, here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lel and in this episode, we're doing something different. We're going to do a fond farewell to Destiny. There is a kind of everybody today is at some point going to the tower or has gone to the tower and is saying goodbye to Destiny. The tower has been more full today than I've ever seen it since the very beginning of the game. And I just want to kind of like walk down memory lane real quick, do a couple of quick things, talk about Destiny, and then see you guys hopefully tonight around 2, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch to follow me while I play Destiny 2 the entire day tomorrow. Completely exhausted. It's going to be a bumpy ride. So anyways, I to walk down memory lane i was excited about this game when i first heard about it i remember seeing a thing i happened to be at best buy and i saw the poster for destiny with and it was very ambiguous it was just like the destiny logo and the, the traveler and i googled it and i started getting excited about this game i was lucky enough to be a part of the alpha and i was part of the beta and right off the bat the graphics the gameplay um the feeling of control of the character like the, how smooth it ran and even the ambiguous story even though the story was not that great I immediately was hooked by Destiny. I I loved this game. This is the first game I ever really enjoyed PvP. It's the first game where, it, if you first came to the, this, is actually the first the first YouTube video I ever did was Destiny. Um, and if you didn't notice, when you first started playing Destiny, when you looked out over the city, it was almost nothing. There was very few things down here. There was a couple buildings, then most of it was was like trees and grass. And then when you looked over here, oh, none of these plants were like this. The plants were almost nothing. The tower has grown, the city has grown, and it felt like you were a part of that. Like because of what you did in fighting back the darkness, who no one ever figured out what it was, the city changed because of you. Um, like I remember when I first killed that first Archon to get my warp drive, like I had to fight him like five or six times. Like he killed me and then I remember I remember doing raids with my friends. Like, because of this game, I've made friends that are probably going to be lifelong friends. Like, Rock Lee, Tom Minaj, uh, Major Chaos, um, Trogdon, Marie, uh, uh, God, and there's like a million others. I, to go, I would go through my friends, and if I forgot you, I'm sorry. No offense. Um, who else we got? We got Spider Carnage. We got people that are even like my friends because of YouTube are from this game. Uh, Dr. Diaz, um, Dylan, um, God, everybody. Everybody over on Xbox as well. Like this game and my children. Like we played together, um, King Ten Twenty Eight and um, Anya Sauce. Like we play this game together, and this game meant so much to me for those years. Like this, is, I would come home just to play this game. I remember raiding late at night and staying up. Oh, people are dancing. Staying up late at night to try to get those raids done. I remember doing the cheese modes on the raid. I remember my friend uh, Matt not being able to get up on the platform as a world I've talked about that story many times but that is what was one of the funniest things in game or out of game I've ever seen in my entire life um getting your sparrow for the first time finding different ships taking down crota non cheese mode or cheese mode pulling the plug on your nat cable if you were able to do that just everything everything was so much fun about this game I remember when you go over and you see the speaker for the first time when you get every week trying to find Zer. I remember like uh, trying new weapons with your friends doing when you first finally got private matches I remember just Iron Banner when Iron Banner came out so much of this game was so much fun and I'm super looking forward to Destiny 2 because it's a continuation of this but I mean look at hey wait a minute where's our sweeper friend Anyways, if you when you play Destiny 2, that guy that sweeps right here is apparently a ninja badass because he's still sweeping and there's like two dead Cabal dudes, their heads are exploded in. So I don't know what that guy did, but he definitely doesn't want to stop sweeping, and except for right now because he's not there. When you come over here, this area has grown up so much. Like the, Everything has changed so much in this game, and it changed the way I play games. Like The only game that I ever was hooked on as much as this was EverQuest and World of Warcraft. Before this game, that's it. And I, I mean, I gave up on those easy, but this one, they have another one. I remember coming over here and... Wait a minute, is this something different? No, I thought maybe if you looked through here, it'd be something cool. Anyways, there was so many, like, Easter eggs, like Cage Stash we never got to find, which maybe, hopefully, they'll bring that out in Destiny 2, like when the tower falls, his stash is somewhere, and we can find it. Uh, people looking into the lore, like, they hid the stuff about the Master Chief, and there was, like, finding the ghost. There was, like, puzzles within puzzles, and then just, like, little hidden caches of stuff you could find. And I'm super thankful for Bungie for making a game that hooked so many people and brought so many people together. Even though it was kind of pain in the butt to do matchmaking until the very end, they didn't really introduce a couple things. It was hard to do, like, you know, unless you got Destiny Item Manager. The game itself, the gameplay, the gameplay was near perfect. The rest of it, it because the gameplay was near perfect, 
you could almost forgive the lack of story. You could almost forgive the lack of depth because what it did had, it did perfectly. So I'm really looking forward to Destiny 2. So I just wanted to, this, this cute little tiny small video, I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that got to play Destiny with me. Hopefully I'll get to see you in Destiny 2. If you need a clan, join the Dark Watch. It's right up above. It's uh, right up above. Um, it's going to be PC, Xbox One, and uh, PlayStation 4. I'm going to make administrators on the Xbox One and the, and the PC for now because I'm, I'm, I don't have this version of the game. But I'd love to be able to play with all of you guys in Destiny 2. Hopefully you follow me on Twitch so we can stream together and we can at least talk while I'm playing. And I hope that Destiny 2 brings more of us together and I get to meet more of you guys. So until next time, guys, this is Lulderin signing off. Be sure to join me every day. Same Lulderin time, same Lulderin channel. But until then, I will see you when the tower falls. Bye, Guardians. Hey, just